Well, that may have been the sound of glass breaking, but I think something has broke inside Stone Cold Steve Austin's head. Welcome back, guys, to Fog Wrestling, and we're here to quickly discuss Stone Cold Steve Austin, the Rattle Snake, possibly my favourite wrestler of all time. In my opinion, undoubtedly the biggest draw of all time. However, I don't agree with everything that Steve Austin has done in his career and his life. There's been a few controversial things he's had. He walked out in the WWE, you know, there was some sort of issues, abuse with Deborah. You know, I can look past that, but what I cannot look past is what he currently came out and said about the current WWE roster. Now, Austin was asked on Twitter about what his WrestleMania 39 status is, and Ross Austin replied, quote, to be determined, end of quote. So it looks like maybe Austin is still planning something for WrestleMania, whether that be a match, whether that be just an appearance or a promo. Uh, for me, if they are planning a match with Austin, it would be absolutely ridiculous for them not to have built it up, for them not to promote it. I thought the whole thing last year with Kevin Owens was dumb where it literally only got made into a match on the night of the show. But, you know, that's WWE now. They're not very good at what they do. I mean, look at the build-up Rock and Cena got. You know, they literally got a year build-up. That's the kind of stuff Austin should be getting if he is willing to come back and wrestle another match. But he then went on to speak about the current WWE roster and his WrestleMania status. And this is what he said. And I quote, I haven't heard anything. We're literally, as we speak right now, about two weeks away and it's the biggest show of the year. Right now, I think WWE has got a gooder roster as they've had since the Attitude Era. They got a deep roster. So I think many guys and gals need those covered spots. They got plenty of names to draw from, plenty of talent to draw from. I think they should shine the light and cameras on their current superstars. End of quote. Steve. What are you talking about? Austin, man, I love you, but really, deep roster? Deep? I think the only thing deep is Austin's head up McMahon's ass. Because if he honestly comes out and thinks this WWE roster is deep and it's as good, it's, it's as good as it's been since the Attitude Era. Honestly, is Austin literally just like missing out, what, 20 years from the Attitude Era to now? Is he totally forgetting the last 20 years? How can he claim this roster is better than the Ruthless Aggression Era? Because it's not. I mean, it's clearly not. How can he claim this roster is as good as when WWE first went G uh, PG? Because it's clearly not. Look at 2008. Holy fuck. You'd seen it. Batista, Taker, Shawn Michaels, Triple H, Edge, Randy Orton. You literally had everybody. 2008 had some great years, some great feuds when the company, you know, just turned PG. So how is this roster better than that one? It's not. Um, 2010, 2011... Yeah, you had some guys retiring, you had Edge walking away, um, you had Taker, Triple H beginning to take a lot lighter schedules, but still, I mean, that era was good, Shawn Michaels retired, but still, I mean, that was a much better era than what we've got now. You look at, like, 2012, 2013, Cena and Punk alone as full-time guys makes that era better than this era. Then, of course, you factor in, you still had great guys like Randy Orton, Chris Jericho, you still got the odd appearance, odd match from, like, Taker, Triple H, and then we got the return of uh, Brock Lesnar, which was great. Moving on to like 2014-15, like you had the rise of Daniel Bryan, CM Punk left, but you still had Cena there, you had Sting come in, you had the Authority, you had them pushing the Shield, the Roman Reigns, Moxley, Seth Rollins, they began getting you know pushed into single careers, we got the likes of Bray Wyatt coming in, I mean that era was better than this era. Literally, like, then you had the brand split, and even that was good, because you had the two different brands, and it felt really, really good. I mean, the first, like, year and a bit, like, 2016, 2017 were really good years, in my opinion. I think the brand split definitely helped WWE back then, and both shows were actually interesting to watch. If you wanted to see AJ, Cena, Ambrose, you had to watch SmackDown. If you wanted to see the likes of, you know, Reigns, Joe, Brock, uh, Strowman, you had to watch Raw. And I thought, I thought the brand split era was really, really good. I mean, you could argue the COVID era is maybe not as good as this current era, but let's be honest, can we really count the COVID era? Because obviously there were circumstances that led to like half the roster not even being there. So I wouldn't even count that. For Austin to say that this era is as good as it's been since the Attitude Era, man, that is... Uh, 
And Austin's a guy that keeps up with wrestling, so he's, he's not got an excuse. It's not like Vince Russo, who hasn't watched it in like 20 years. Austin has literally no excuse for saying this. So, yeah, I can't believe Stone Cold said this, man. It's actually disappointing. A guy as good as Austin, a guy as knowledgeable about the business and the guy is knowledgeable about wrestling is Stone Cold Steve Austin and he is coming out and saying this. I mean, he doesn't need to... I'm not saying he should be burying the current... Even though it sucks, I'm not saying he should bury the current roster. He doesn't need to bury WWE. But coming out and saying this roster's the best since the Attitude Era it is a blatant lie. It is a blatant lie. It's a Stone Cold lie. So yeah, disappointed with Austin and uh, the fact that he thinks that is, 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 is really sad now eh, Wrestlemania after hearing this do I want Austin to be on Wrestlemania of course I do of course I do but it is disappointing to hear you know one of my uh, you know one of my heroes growing up man coming out and saying something that just obviously is not true but that has, that's his opinion he's entitled to it you could argue he's just trying to be nice to the current roster but for me to claim it's the best roster since the Attitude Era. I, I just, I can't accept that. I really can't accept that. I'm sorry, Stone Cold, but you're, you're wrong. You're dead wrong on that one. Anyway, guys, let us know your thoughts down below. Um, if we had, to, we might do a video where we like, you know, rank rosters from like different eras. But for me, if we do that, this current era is definitely coming somewhere down the bottom. It might not be the worst one of all time, but it is damn close. It is damn close. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think down below. Do you believe this is the best roster since the Attitude Era? For me, definitely not. Uh, yeah, I just don't see where Stone Cold Steve Austin is going with that one. I mean, maybe you could argue it's the best since COVID. That would be fair enough. Or maybe just before pre-COVID, but to claim it's the best since the Attitude Era, absolutely not. Stone Cold, that's a massive L, just like your loss to the Rock at WrestleMania 19. It's a big damn L. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. I'll see you later, and peace.